The tarot is a popular game of cards whose origins date back to the beginning of the 15th century. Amongst the antique models appreciated by the players in the past, the one known as Tarot of Marseille is still widely used today by fortune tellers for divinatory purposes. As with all tarots, this particular type has, in addition to the traditional suits, a series of 22 cards, the trumps. Owing to the strange figures that illustrate them, for centuries, these trump cards have exerted a strong power of fascination. What do they mean? Who created them? For what purpose? Through the twists and turns of an inquiry, principally focused on four cards, this film sheds light on an amazing hypothesis, according to which the Tarot of Marseille is not an ordinary playing card game, but constitutes the occult vehicle of a deep and complex philosophical teaching. The French Playing Card Museum is at issy le molineux in the suburbs of Paris. There, we meet Thierry de Paulis, a historian specializing in the history of games. This type of tarot, there, which is one of many types, is usually called Tarot of Marseille. It's a conventional designation, most probably due to the fact that at the end of the 18th century and during the first half of the 19th, and even after, this model was produced only in Marseille. So people got into the habit of calling it Tarot of Marseille. But in fact, it is possible to distinguish an Italian origin to these cards. Many of us think, and this is not peculiar to the fortune tellers, that these trump cards form a series with a meaning. So we tried to understand what these cards meant. Here is the chariot with the mysterious initials VT. Temperance, which we see holding two jugs, allowing her to pour water into wine so as to temper it. Then we find the card of the world, so typical of the Tarot of Marseille, with this mandorla, the symbols of the four evangelists, that do not appear in other types of tarots, in fact.